Well, I suppose we better go breaking caliber, and if we're going to be using him for the rest of the game. Can't we just swap him for a gun? <laughs> this isn't Shadow. No, oh, why not? S swords are better than guns, anyway. Shut up. The more badass. Don't say gun blade, because that's not a gun. That's just <laughs> that's just a sword with a, like an ammunition barrel stuck on it. <laughs> this is that like key blade. It's not a sword. It's just a big key. Mm, it's a spiking battle death lord, basically. <laughs> <laughs> you notice the uh, the air dash from Rings and Heroes? Yeah, I'm liking that. It work, works really well. Especially and when you combine it with the spin slash. So what I will say about this level Misty Leg is the basic tutorial, but unlike the Lost Prologue, it doesn't feel like a tutorial, it feels a little like an actual level. And of course I enjoy spending time with it because of the music. I love this soundtrack so much. In fact, this, as soon as it's come down, I'm spending 80 pounds to import this, the, the two soundtracks from this game, and an unleashed soundtrack. That's how much I want this music, man. Oh, and it's uh, Planetary Pieces and and Night Tales of a Night or something. Pl Pl Planetary Pieces is the free disc um, unleashed soundtrack, and this Black Knight Access two soundtracks, the vocal album Face to Faith, which will have all the Cross Forty songs on it, and the uh, the the music itself is is from an album called Tales of Nighthood. Nice. <laughs> I, I just. <laughs> Who are you calling the gentleman? <laughs> I love the dialogue in this game. It's great. I'm not sure what to think about the sword having a face. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I agree with you on that. It's kind of like it, it, it made, the face is very childlike anyway. Well, it's kind of dignified, really. Yeah, but oh, sudden change in atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, she's picked up a flower now. She's sad. Do you think it was like meant to be a coincidence that she looks like Shara? I think I'm not. Well, I think um. It, it's to kind of give a from a reality. I think in if they make a third one, he'll probably have another kind of like mentor figure in the shape of this woman again. Yeah, I think it'll be Helen of Troy if they decide to do Green Myths. That'd be cool. I'm hoping it'll be Green Myths anyway. I'm, I'm hoping for Harry Potter. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> That's my reaction to your opinion. <laughs> uh. Oh, um, speaking of, you remember this when we were complaining in rings about it appearing one at a time? Yeah, they all appear as one. It's awesome. <laughs> Definitely. The leveling up aspect is very much in the background as well. It never reaches up, grabs you and says, Look at me, you're leveling up. <laughs> yeah, also, like, a, you don't need specific things to um, complete. You know, like, you, you can't complete the entire game without having to once level up anything. Mm, true. I love this music so much. It took a while for me to kind of appreciate it, but yeah, it's a good track. Now, uh, you know it's how you know you know it's how they have um, dialogue or whatnot in the levels, and I mentioned in uh, well, in terms of YouTube part one at least um, that you could turn hints off or something. Yeah. In fact, you can turn all in-level audio off altogether, just like Unleashed. Now, but by in-level audio, you mean just the the voices. Mm, so basically, like at the start where he says, "Better be careful" or whatnot, you won't be able to hear that. And so essentially it would just be the music playing essentially. So it's for kind of those people who just want to play it without any dialogue. It's kind of catering to them. Why why they should be catered to when they're a bunch of whiny bastards, I don't know. <laughs> there, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, it's one of the things why I like this game so much is kind of like they've kind of gone out of their way to make sure everyone's kind of happy. Like, you know, if you want, if you don't want any in-game audio, you can turn it off. If you don't want subtitles, turn it off. If you want Japanese voices, you turn it off. I'm, as well, it's just, I think it's very, they, they put a lot of thought into this game, I'll say. Well, mate, I mean, to be honest, at this point in time, they could make it like a uh, a 2D, pure 2D Sonic for like the level <coughs> of graphics on Unleashed, and they still look at them like it, they came into the house on Christmas Day and pissed on their kids, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I I do think you know so I, I don't want to get too you know you know annoyed at the reviewers and stuff, but I still think like professional reviews, not all of them, not all of them, mind you, because like Nintendo Power is always quite good to, to Sonic. Um, but some of them like GameSpot and of course IGN, as it were, um, they, they they do kind of just seem like that that they don't want to like a game at all. Well, in terms of Sonic, at least. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. Of, of course, of course. That's why they're called Internet Gaming News, not Internet Gaming Reviews. So just a short... Mm, true. Oh, please explain this wonderful piece of music playing now, Gareth. This piece of music is a, um... <laughs> it's not an orchestral version, Tom. Okay. It's more of a, more of a acoustic version. Thank you. Of, uh, uh Tales SA1 theme, Believe in Myself? 
Yeah, it, yeah, believe in myself, the Karen Break version from SD1. Oh, so good. So very, very good. And of course, there's uh, Amy Palant back as, back, back as Tails, and again, like in Unleashed, she actually sounds like a boy. You know how I can always tell that it's uh, Believe in Myself? It's because the opening notes are from Bridge Zone, from the uh, yeah. Master System Game Gear version of <laughs> Sonic 1, and that is one of my favourite Sonic tunes, period. It's great. Mm. I did again. I, I like the fact that they had these, the um, you know, the small like Tails comes in for a small part. Mm. He doesn't actually play a big role, to be honest. No, to, to be honest, un unless unless you visit the um, the blacksmith, that's the last you see of Tails in the entire game. Mm, much, well, apart from like just before the final boss. Mm. Well, what, what did you think of this music here? Yeah, it's not bad. I didn't really spend a lot of time on the hub menu, to be honest. Yeah, I quite loved it. I thought it was a nice little tune. Mm. Alright, here we go, the introduction of Soul Surge, Tom, if you want to explain this. Um, basically, it's essentially like the Soul Gauge in the first game. Um, doing shovel sacks like Killing Knights uh, and whatnot, will, and saving villagers, obviously, will make it go up. The Red Fairies are also used to fill it up. And uh, when you hold the B trigger, you can like unleash slow motion sword blows like this. It's pretty cool. It's kind of it. It's similar to the Soul Gauge. It's also quite similar to the Chaos Powers on the Shadow. Mm, yeah. In, in the sense that, like, they're doing good, good stuff will build it up for you. Oh yeah, I never noticed that. Mm. But I, I, I thought it was, you know, I really liked it. Mm -hmm. It's really satisfying <laughs> to do the um, slow motion, like killing. It's just awesome as hell. I prefer the second version, but that machine is coming next, and I don't want to give anything away. <laughs> Mission cleared. Shouldn't that shouldn't the sword help be like where the chains are? <laughs> don't don't question the logic. <laughs> uh, I won't, it'll just make my head explode. <laughs> <laughs> Nave, no, what did like it the, does the term Nave come from the um story itself, or is it just... It's uh this isn't a word, but I will make it up. Camelotian. Oh yes. Um yeah, but I think it means fall or or whatnot, to be honest. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Nave the Hedgehog. I'm not Nave. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> I'll call you Nave the Hedgehog. <laughs> mm, now this is you. I remember you talking to me on uh, MSN about you having a bit of trouble with this. Oh god, this took me literally 20 minutes to do, and it says that the, the trick is says you soul gauge in the air. I did that. Honest to God, I did that every time, and the bastard stage wouldn't let me complete it. <laughs> well, you have to kill ten. Remember, you can't just do it once. Mm. You can get items and whatnot from chest, treasure chests and you can use them to actually forge new weapons for certain other playable characters which we'll talk about much later in the playthrough. Like Chet the Hawk! <laughs> He's only in <laughs> battle mode, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I am so annoying! Knight of the Hoverboard! I believe he plays Lamarock. I have no idea what that means, mate. I think he's like what the least known uh, knight at the round table, <laughs> right, next to, <laughs> right next to right next to Sir not appearing in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Sir Silver, not of the Iblis Twigger. Well, he plays a uh, Galahad. Do you know that there were some people who thought Silver was going to be King Arthur? Who the fuck thought that? <laughs> Punch no. yourselves in the face. And on that <laughs> note, please join us in part four of the Sonic and the Black Knight playthrough. Bye bye.